There are a few things that both the left and the right can agree on. Universal health care, common sense gun laws, and you don't go after Dave Chappelle. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I try to do is take different topics going on in the YouTube community or in the news or in pop culture, try to see what lessons we can learn from them to improve our own mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And yeah, when talking about the Dave Chappelle story and a lot that's going on in the current climate, there's a lot to do with cancel culture. So if any of you are interested in cancel culture, check out my new book, Canceled Inside YouTube Cancel Culture, where I take a deep dive into the topic. I share my own experience and talk about a bunch of other stuff going on in the world today. All right, but yeah, let's jump into this. So those of you who missed it, I don't think many of you did. I got a lot of new people coming here from my first video about Vice going after Dave Chappelle, but I will link it up in the info card if you want to go check that out if you haven't yet. But yeah, I wanted to do a follow-up and here's why. Like this, this is a beautiful thing, all right? Like when, when I see both sides coming together to agree on something, I'm like, oh, this gives me hope for our country, all right? So those of you who don't know me, um, I'm more liberal leaning, uh, but yeah, like here's the thing. I have no problem calling out my side for things that are absolutely ridiculous. Like a long time ago, a lesson that was taught to me was, the best people in your life are gonna tell you what you need to hear and not what you want to hear, right? If we ever hope to learn and grow, we need to call out, right, like our friends, our family members, or even our side on things. And I truly believe that in order for this country to move forward, like, we all need to do this. Like, no matter what political party you, uh, uh, you're a part of, like, if you see your side acting ridiculous, like, call them out for that stuff. But when it comes to Dave Chappelle, and this whole thing with Vice, like, it's gotten even worse. Like, there are more and more and more, like, mm, different news outlets <laughs> covering this and, like, talking about how outrageous it was and how offensive it was. And it's absolutely nuts. Like, it, it's kind of interesting to me that Vice is getting the most attention because BuzzFeed has done this same thing. Vox has done this same thing. I'm gonna be talking about an article from The Root pretty soon. Like a lot of places have been doing this, but for some reason Vice has gotten the most attention. And fun fact, I was thinking about making a video on this. Vice just doubled down and went after South Park for the same things they're talking about with Dave Chappelle, all right? But here's the thing. Here's the, what I, I wanna talk about. Um, Something that really irks me is when I see liberals attacking the other side for things that I, they accuse them of doing, right? So like one of them, for example, just one of them is like stereotyping, okay? So I, The Root is an interesting uh, source. Uh, I dig it. Um, I'm half black for those of you who don't know. And I, I like to see what topics they discuss, right? But sometimes they just go so far, like the wrong way. And I'm like, oh, what are you guys, what are you guys doing? But anyways, this article is a perfect example. And it's titled, The Worst White People Love Dave Chappelle's Sticks and Stones. Like, what? What? So let me just read you a little excerpt from this. That said, there are also many who consider this to be one of his best performances, and among that group are trolls, professional bigots, white supremacists, Nazi sympathizers, and more of the very worst white people, an adoration due to the parallels between their sensibilities and his. I'm like, oh my God, all right? So something that, um, was discussed in that book that I recently finished, uh, The Coddling of the American Mind. Like something that 
is part of cognitive distortions is labeling, right? Like when you disagree with somebody and you label them as something, like this happens all the time and it's not just with politics and stuff like that. Like how many times do you label somebody as a sociopath or a narcissist just because you don't like something that they did, right? But we see this to even more of an extreme when it comes to these kind of political type topics, right? And when I was reading this and this article saying, you know, all the worst white people love Dave Chappelle's stand up uh, sticks and stones, I'm sitting there, I'm just like, okay, well, you know, like I'm sure white supremacists and Nazis like eat food and drink water. Does that mean that I shouldn't do those things because that's something that they do? So anyways, the author thought ahead of that and they actually closed their article with this. Now, is it possible to like a thing a racist also likes without exposing a deep deficit within you? Of course, I'm sure many racists like pizza because pizza is freaking awesome. Man, Donald Trump loves shiny stuff. And the space shoes I'm rocking today proves that affinity is shared by me, but if you've just entered a room and you find yourself surrounded by Nazis, you should probably ask yourself how you got there and what you need to do to leave. And that is where it gets ridiculous, right? Like, no, this is just something that both sides can agree on. And like, that's what um, was interesting about the comments of my last video is seeing the diversity of people agreeing that Vice going after Dave Chappelle and others going after Dave Chappelle is absolutely ridiculous. Like something that often comes to mind is like that I think about is during this current political climate, there's a lot of things that are, that when you think about them, like we automatically give it a, uh, an affiliation with the right. And it's really weird, right? And there's certain talking points. Like one of them is free speech, right? When you hear free speech, you're like, oh my God, it's, you know, these people, right? But the thing is, I'm glad this conversation is coming up, like since Vice started all this, where even liberals are starting to look at this and be like, oh man, like free speech is kind of a big deal. Like you shouldn't be censoring people. And that's why Dave Chappelle is awesome because like a lot of people pointed out, he goes after everybody, right? And that's what we need to do. Like with everything going on, like that's the best thing to do is just talk about how ridiculous everything is right now. But again, going back to, you know, our side doing things that they accuse the other side of doing, one of them is stereotyping. So like, think about it. If you look at, you know, people from the, the liberal side, like we, we get upset when people think that all Muslims are terrorists, right? Or all, uh, immigrants coming from Mexico, they must be criminals. So isn't it just doing the same exact thing, assuming that every single person on the right side is a racist or a bigot or a Nazi? Do you see what I mean? And like, these are conversations that we need to have. But anyways, I wanna end this on a positive note. Like, we have more in common then we do have differences. There was an amazing SNL skit. I don't know if you saw it, but it was right after Trump got elected and it was with Tom Hanks and he was on uh, that, that Jeopardy show where Keenan hosts it. But anyways, he was wearing like a MAGA hat and he's up there with some black folk. And like, there were certain things that they like agreed on, right? They out here saying that every vote counts. Oh, Doug again. What is, come on, they already decided who wins even before it happens. Yes, yes. <laughs> Yes! And that's what I think we need to do. We need to start having conversations with each other and like realize the things that we agree on. Like the way I started this video, there are certain policies that both sides agree on, like getting healthcare for everybody, common sense, gun laws, right? Leaving Dave Chappelle alone. Because at the end of the day, we're all working towards the same thing. We want our country to be awesome and great for everybody, but I don't, I don't feel like we're gonna move forward until we can start having conversations with one another. Like something that really bothers me is, and don't get me wrong, like politicians do this, which is using fear to try to divide people, right? Like something that politicians 
or even, you know, the one percenters or whatever try to do is they try to get us to fight with each other. They try to get us to be divided, right? And you can ask most liberals like, oh yeah, like Trump uses fear mongering and everything like that, right? But here's the thing, like, aren't we doing the same thing when we make articles like this, like saying that Dave Chappelle's speech is dangerous and his jokes are hurting people and, his, and, and what he's talking about and making fun of is bringing us backwards, right? That is using fear to try to divide us. And I'm glad I'm talking more about political stuff on my channel, but like when, when 2016, when those elections happened, I was confused. I was so confused and that's why I've been really looking at it the last few years and it's clear as day. Like we're not going to get anything done if we keep dividing ourselves from within. You know what I mean? So we all need to take some time, realize that people like Dave Chappelle are comedians. We need to take a break from all the insanity going on, laugh a little bit and relax, all right? But anyways, don't forget my brand new book, Canceled Inside YouTube Cancel Culture is out now. It's down in the description, down in the pinned comment down below. And a huge thank you for watching. If you like this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And a huge thank you as well to everybody who supports the channel in other ways, buying merch, buying my books, all that kind of stuff. All right, thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.